Harris County Sheriff Ron Hickman calls what happened to a mentally ill rape victim thrown in jail for nearly a month a quote unfortunate circumstance. We broke the channel to team investigation Tuesday. District Attorney Devin Anderson says her office had no choice but to put the victim named Jenny in jail to make sure she would testify against her rapist. Today, Sheriff Hickman agreed to answer questions about the case. Hickman is traveling in Southern California. Investigative reporter Jace Larson met him there this morning. Jace, uh, Hickman says his staff had no idea that this woman was so vulnerable, correct? Yeah, and in fact, he says it was really his team and his staff that as soon as they learned about what was going on with Jenny, that they worked to get her release to her mother. As you mentioned, Sheriff Hickman is here in uh, California because there's a conference going on that has many people from law enforcement all over the country here. The attachment simply gives us her name and, uh, and, and that she's to be held. This is the only form Hickman says he received about Jenny. There's nothing on it that says she's a rape victim. For 27 days, Jenny, who had not committed a crime when she was booked, sat locked in the Harris County Jail. Her distraught mom eventually gave up on the DA's office and started calling other county officials. This thing went on for uh, several weeks, but the moment we were notified about it, uh, we instructed personnel to address it with the appropriate authorities and got resolution. Would you have pushed to get her released earlier if you'd found out about it earlier? We would certainly have been pushing to do what we could. Uh, not knowing what the circumstances would have been at that time, I don't know exactly what could have been done. Uh, we might have been able to provide segregation, uh, you know, put her in a, a different cell away from general population. We could have done other things. While in the general population with suspected criminals, Jenny got into a confrontation with an inmate and received a black eye. And after weeks in jail, Jenny punched a guard herself. Assault charges in that case were eventually dropped. Some people blame you for what happened to Jenny. Are they wrong? Well, they have to understand my responsibility. Uh, my responsibility to the court is to take the people they send to us without question. And so we did exactly that. Uh, once the circumstances was brought to our attention, we acted on it immediately and negotiated in good faith and got proper results. Jenny and her family are suing Sheriff Hickman. She was able to go back to court and testify against her rapist, and with her help, prosecutors were able to put, her behind, put that rape suspect behind bars for two life sentences. Reporting live in Long Beach, California, Jace Larson, KPRC Channel 2 News. All right.